What's up everyone, Chris Beans here with Bowler's Rant and this is a quick shot. Today we are going to be looking at a brand new, new in box Storm Spectre, has not been drilled. There are no holes in this ball at all, right? So this is a brand new ball. And I've got here a Type D, uh, Shore D durometer. This is Type D to measure the hardness of plastics and resonance and stuff, right? So it's been calibrated to read 99.5 on the glass. So that's pretty close to 100. Glass is a hardness of 100, so we're, we're within half a point. And we're going to turn this on and just take a reading and see what this thing says. Now, mind you, this is not a scientific test, uh, but we are in 72 degree air conditioned, uh, you know, cooled environment here in Tampa, Florida. And this ball has been in nothing but air conditioned controlled room for the better part of a week inside the, the um, wrapping, plastic wrapping and in this box. So let's see what this thing says. Okay, got it. You gotta press this H button to hold the reading so you don't have to keep pressing. I'm getting a reading of 69. Now, I believe I went into the USB-C website that said that in the field, you can go as low as 68D hardness for spot field checks. Um, somebody can fact check me on that. I'm gonna see if I can, when I put this the video up, put that in the, um, as an overlay. But if that's really true and we can do 68D hardness, then this ball, as it is out of the box right now, is reading 69 and should meet USB-C specifications for sanctioned competition. Um, you know, that's really interesting. And I wonder, you know, if there are balls out there that are reading really super soft, you know, where are they being read from? What kind of temperature are they in? What's the humidity? What's the barometric pressure? All those scientific things that I have no information about right now at this moment, I wonder if they come into play where there is concern from the USB-C on this ball. But right now in Tampa, Florida, this undrilled ball is reading at 69 and I'd say it's pretty good and I'm hoping we can get this resolved because I'd like to drill this thing and throw it and see what all the fuss is about. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Curious if anybody else has one of these and has tried this. You know, have you tested the hardness on your ball? What do you think of this test? And you know, what, is, what do you think about the situation in general? You know, drop me a comment, let me know. As usual, let's continue the conversation. I'm gonna do a few more of these videos with different balls, everything that's in my bag. So more updates are coming and until then, bow well.